Hi guys, welcome all of you to Baiju's exam prep and yes, there is another important update coming up for gate aspirants. Yes, the recruitment of NALCO, the National Aluminium Company Limited, announcing the recruitment of GET, that is the Graduate Engineer Trainee through gate 2023 whose short notification was announced much earlier but now they have come up with the full detailed updates about number of vacancies the selection procedure the documents and everything has been mentioned so stay tuned it's an important one okay a lot of recruitments going on in nalco these days so this notification uh, was floated on 21st of february but don't worry the date to fill up is not yet started okay so from what did the application process starts i will tell you that also but it is not yet started as of the current date also okay so this navratna psu okay the nalco Okay, announcing the recruitment for GET and with how many vacancies is a very decent good number of vacancies you are able to see. But again, let me repeat, this is on the basis of GATE 2023. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, uh, GATE 2024 also, uh, there will be recruitment for NALCO. Okay, you are able to see that many times, I have told you earlier also, many times PSU's recruitment come after 6 months, 8 months or even a year after. GATE 23 was conducted one year back and now there is the recruitment through GATE 23. Similarly, don't worry, you will be having the recruitment for GATE 20 through k24 also that will be a separate recruitment okay so good huge number of vacancies for mechanical 127 and even for electrical it is 100 so the very good number of vacancies for mechanical as well as electrical here okay instrumentation 20 vacancies are there metallurgy 10 uh, chemical 13 okay uh, chemistry 7 totaling to 277 uh, vacancies in all whose uh, you know breakage as per the category is also mentioned to you okay so now what should be the eligible branches for this that that also they have mentioned eligible branches eligible gate paper so let's move uh, forward and talk about some more important details okay yeah sorry So qualification ki baat karenge, you should be having a full time regular bachelor's degree with the, in the specified branches. Okay, uh, having 65% or more, okay, in your bachelor's, uh, you know, and they will, it, it can be 55% if you are from SCST or PWD category. Okay, so the degree requirements also is mentioned. Right now, uh, as clearly told you for mechanical, applying for mechanical, your degree should be mechanical or production engineering, both works. Your, but your gate paper will only be mechanical. They have mentioned that also later on. Okay, for electrical, okay, you, you can have any full-time degree courses in electrical engineering or power engineering. Okay, for instrumentation, you can have electronics engineering also. Instrumentation, telecom and electrical engineering. Okay, and similarly for others also it is mentioned. Now, important point is the age limit. Okay. The age limit for most of the PSUs, as you know, it is 27, but for NALCO, it is 30 years as of 2nd April 2024, because that is going to be the last day of filling up the form. I will show you the dates at the end. Okay, so age limit is 30, it's a comfortable age limit given to you. Now, coming to the important selection procedure, okay, it's it's on the basis of gate plus a personal interview. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, with the weightage of gate being 90%, interview per weightage being 10% on the final selection and only it's on right now on the basis of gate 23. Okay, and I am telling you later on gate 24 recruitment will be separately announced by NALCO. Okay. So, yeah, it's on the basis of gate 23 followed by a personal interview. Okay, followed by a personal interview and their weightage is also clearly mentioned. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's come down here. Gate paper, as I told you, okay, that, that should be respective only, right? Like mechanical, you can have mechanical engineering degree or even production engineering degree, but your gate result should be from gate paper code ME. Similarly, for electrical, it should be double E. Okay, for instrumentation, it should be IN, although electronics or even telecommunication engineers can apply, but the, you should have written the gate through IN. Okay, similarly, they have mentioned for others also. Okay, the final selection, this is what I was mentioning to you. This is what I was mentioning to you. Sorry, uh, have a look into it. Okay, the final selection. Okay, the ratio is 90% and you know 10%. The gate marks, you know, that means if you have really got good go score and good marks in gate, your selection is highly probable. Okay, unless and until you know you screw up, you finally spoil the interview very badly. Okay, but even if your interview is decent, you have high chances of selection because only 10% weightage to the interview, maximum weightage 90% is for the gate marks now coming to some of the things that is fascinating you is the compensation package okay you start first of all with a one year training period and during that time you have start with the basic pay of 40000 okay 40000 to 140000 uh, your recruitment is in this particular pay scale, pay scale bracket okay but after the one year after the successful completion of the one year training you will be absorbed as assistant manager 
assistant manager okay in the executive one grade and in the pay scale 60000 to 180000 okay with an additional increment acha also uh, you know not only for this psu but for every psu or government organizations i keep telling you other than basic pay okay you have a lot of benefits okay like here also they mention you have da okay you know the cafeteria approach ke perks hai okay hra is there medical facility for you and your dependents okay and you know there are there are lots of things you know be it the pf or gratuity or etc they will take care of you your living your fooding including your dependents okay the you the, the, your, your medical facility your dependent medical facility it's like okay whatever you get in the hand the basic pay is mostly your savings the biggest factor above that is the job security working with the PSU. That's that's over and above everything. Okay, getting a secure job in the current market scenario, right, guys? So, yeah, coming up to the next point, and then I will zoom it up again. Okay, there will be a service bond, you know, for a four years that they have mentioned that most of the PSUs are mentioning these dates. Okay, ha. Huh, so important dates. If I come up here. Towards the important dates, isko dekhenge hum yaha pe. So as I told you in the beginning also that the application process is not yet started. Okay, the process for application would start from 4th of March. Okay, the 4th of March that is the next Monday. Okay, from 10 a.m. and it will be there up to 2nd of April. Okay, so entire one month is there. So you know, you know by by this time everybody is uh, okay aware what was your gate marks to gate 2023 rank and also. Uh, some of you have, might have taken already admission into IITs or into some PSUs. But in case if you're looking for a switch, this can be option. Okay, or you know, some of you are waiting in Alco Mehi Karna hai. So this is the option for you. Okay, based on your gate performance, you can apply because purely it's mostly gate based, only 10% weightage to the personal interview will be there. So that's an important and small update coming up from Nalco. And if you find it interesting for you, okay, uh, you know, start filling up the form from the coming 4th of March, that is coming Monday. And if you find that, uh, you know, maybe some of your friends, colleagues might be, you know, uh, are waiting for this recruitment, you can also share the video uh, to them so that, you know, this helps them. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and do take care of yourself.